hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download your beloved iphone 4s to ios 6.1.3 or ios 8 so what what do you need you need a linux based desktop or laptop otherwise it will not work it's only work on linux and you need good internet connection and also you need a jelly broken iphone 4s device so as you can see my phone is jelly broken already so it's running cd then let me show you the the version i'm running on this phone so it's running ios 9.3.6 and the method i'm going to show you is already uh, i have already tested it and it's working really great and there are a lot of way you can do it i have tried some other method but it didn't work for me so this one is working great right now so i think if you download right now if you want to download just do it right now otherwise in the future i don't know if you can do it or not so you have to do something in your phone first and just go to the cdi store and search for if it's ask you to what it called to update something just update it otherwise it will not work it's set to download something so just search and type open ssh as you can see i have already downloaded this one so you have to install this then go back sources go back to sources and add one repo add like this then you have to put the repo i will keep the link uh, the repo link in description below so i have already entered it is as you can see is the look z that one also already then you have to search after uh, adding the repo you have to search this one drop here so drop and you have to install this one too so after installing this one the main uh, work with your phone is already finished you don't have to do anything with your phone just connect your phone to your pc and if it asks you to trust your phone then just trust it otherwise it will not work so keep it inside don't touch it and go back to your pc and let me show you how so you can uh, Go, you have to go to the this link here and you have to download this software download iOS auto downloader so after downloading this you have to extract it and as you can see I have already done it so I don't need to download re-download again it's a uh, very tiny software but it will download whole uh, firmware of your phone so you, you have to give it some time later on so as you can see I have downloaded the file and this file would, uh, will be not included here because I have used this one so it's downloaded the firmware here so in first time it will not appear this software it will download so what do you have to do open terminal here just open the terminal and click on restore.sh just uh, drag it and drop it there on the terminal Drag it and drop it and press enter and just run in terminal that's it as you can see in if you're using first time it will download download something and let it download first otherwise it will not work if it's ask you to permission give permission like why just give it why and then it will show you this thing so as you can see it's connected to my phone and showing that my phone is connected here normal mode and what I can do, I can download my device or save out a blobs, create custom IPSW, put device in get view mode. So what I am going to do is download my device. So I will press one. So it now it's giving you the choice for the iOS version, which iOS version do you want? So when you press one, it will download the 8.4.1 and flash it to your phone. And if you press two, it will download the 6.1.3. So as you can see, I have already downloaded. So it, I don't think it will download again. Just it will select this file. Yes, it's then it will ask you that do you want your phone to be jelly broken or not? Yeah, I want my phone to be jelly broken. So I press Y, and if you don't want, you can press N. And this one you have to obviously give Y. Otherwise it will not work. Then enter. So it will do something, uh, some work. 
For first time, it will download the IPSW. Uh, IPSW means the firmware of your phone. So give it some time. It will take, I think, more not more than two three minutes because it's above 9.20 MB, uh, no, 920 MB for uh, iOS 6. I don't know about iOS 8 because I didn't do anything with that. So after that, after downloading the firmware, it will ask you one kind of password. So what do you have to do? You have to press Alpine A. L P I N E. So password will not show here. Then enter. As you can see, it's connected. USB handle series request connection USB device. Then it's asking again the password like root password. So press A L P I N E. Enter. I'll find. Then give it some time to uh, communicate with your communication, communicate with your device, which will take little time. So you have to remember the, remember the password Alpine. It is the uh, root host password of your phone. So then you have to press Alpine and just keep it aside, as you can see. Uh, it's doing something right now. Just wait and see, it will flash automatically and you don't need to do anything right now. After that, it will do automatically everything for you. So as you can see, it's uh, now it's uh, flashing the software. So what, what happened is that because the, the phone is on the different network because I'm using two two Wi-Fi network the same I just connected with the same network then it is uh, working fine and flushing it so when you connect your Wi-Fi you try to connect your Wi-Fi and your phone in the same Wi-Fi network otherwise it will not work I didn't uh, notice that before so I didn't tell you that so I just uh, connected with my same Wi-Fi again and it's working fine right now and as you can see it's started flashing and you can see your phone it will appear something like Apple logo and other things I will 6 Apple logo let me see how long it takes I don't think it will take long too long but let's see Don't be panic, it will not harm your device. So if it goes wrong, you can redo it because it's, it's not gonna break your device. If it's go, if if uh, break your device, then you have iTunes too. So you can restore it to the again I was 9.3.6 and and jailbreak it and again you can do it same thing. So as I told you that the firmware in the first time when you use this one, it will download the firmware, but after that, it will not download any more firmware because uh, it's already downloaded that one. So in my case, I have used it before. Yes, I, I told you I, I have tested it. So after that testing, I just I, uh, again flush the 9.3.6 to show you how to do that because I was looking for this trick actually a long time and I couldn't find the thing which will work properly. And this thing worked properly for me, so that's why I'm showing you. Hopefully this will be helpful for you because I'm giving you a step by step tutorial how you can figure out what's going on with your phone. So don't be worried about that that it will break your device or anything else. Just keep uh, patient and see what's going on. So it's trying to flash now, downloading the VSVN and anything. So yes, it's, it's flashing, it's trying to flash now. I think it is, now you can see, after some time you will, you will be able to see the um, Apple logo on your phone. Yeah, I think now, because it's already started. Yeah, as you can see, the iOS 6 Apple logo. And it's doing its job right now, flashing. So it's a very simple trick, you don't need to do anything, you just put the uh, 
command line there and it will do automatically you have to just press some you have to go through some rules and press y and other things that's enough but you must need good internet connection otherwise it will fail again and again also you have to be careful about the wi-fi network put your phone and your desktop in the same wi-fi network otherwise it will not work and if it doesn't work that time also just press your home button a little bit then you see it will connect automatically your phone and it will flush the firmware as you can see it's uh, nearly to finish it's writing for LAN pretty good so I don't think it will fail because I have done it previously and it's worked fine so I don't think now it's working great now very simple trick also if you want like uh, you want to use iOS 6 as iOS 6 as uh, your um, main OS main iOS or also you can down use cool booter to boot into iOS 9 iOS 8 or uh, um, other iOS version if you want so that will be also very uh, helpful like if you want to use your phone in iOS 9 again just do cool boot and you can use cool router and it will boot you to the iOS 9 and you can use there and you, have, you can have, it ex and have the experience it's a really very really easy actually so do it early otherwise if um, I think if Apple unsigned the OTS software it will not work anymore so in future I don't know how long it will, it will work now it's working like also um, in future if you use this tool i think it will show which which OS will work so do it. let's see how long it's work uh, i'll give you the update about this tool if i if i find any anything because this tool is not made by me someone else created this tool and i just go i just following their instruction and very thankful to them because they created such a um, tool which actually worked flawlessly but you should you should have little knowledge about the computer and phone otherwise you not do it can't do it but anyway it's a very uh, easy thing to do i think it's nearly to finish and you can see the bar is bar on the phone is nearly done As I have previously mentioned, it will work on the Linux device. So I will put a ISO of Linux Mint that I am using right now here. So you can flush it on your USB and boot it on from your USB and you can do it. Because I haven't installed it on my laptop, I just boot it from my pen drive and do it with here. After finishing, it will erase everything from your pen drive, so be careful that. So as you can see, it's done. Flushing software, and as you can see, I have a six logo on my phone. You just now you can disconnect your phone. You can see I have a six logo. My display is not good. Uh, my phone display is not good. As you can see, but you can see that I have a six logo. It's already. Main thing about this iOS software is that it will permanently jailbreak your iOS 6 so if you reboot your device it will not break the it will not break the jailbreak then you no need to redo the jailbreak again so it works very, very good actually I have tried it and as you can see I think it's now resetting the firmware and other thing is that if you use this phone regularly uh, I don't think you can use this phone regularly on iOS 6.1.3 because there is no app support at all but there is some kind of app support like um, Spotify and other things if you want that video what you can install then I, I can help you please uh, comment description below as you can see my phone is completely booted on uh, iOS 6.1.3 so I need to select my country and other things just next choose the network student connect connect, connect you with your wi-fi network next 
activating your phone i don't want to activate my phone right now i don't want to set up new skip this step skip i don't want right now agree don't send start using the phone so as you can see i'm in our 6.1.3 and cdi is installed here let me show you which iOS version I'm running now. As you can see, I'm running iOS 6.1.3. And if you guys have any question about this uh, process or tutorial, you can ask me in the comment comment below. I'll try to reply as fast as possible. And thank you very much for watching my video. See you next time.